So we're going to be making this shield effect really quickly. Let me show you how. I got a very short animation happening with a sphere going through a plane. Now the plane has been heavily subdivided. So make sure you keep that in mind. From here, we can select our ball, the physics settings, dynamic paint type is going to be a brush Add brush. The source, I'm going to change to proximity. The distance is obviously going to be how far it is. So if I just bump it up to two, it'll give us a little bit more space. And now let's select our plane, dynamic paint. This is our canvas. Let's go add canvas. Format is vertex. Surface type is paint. We can see that we've got dry already ticked. Remember that. Output, let's go plus plus. Open up a shaders tab on the canvas. New, I'm going to go shift A, search, attribute. Click on that puppy right there. Let's go into material preview. Let's go into paint map, put it into there, put it into the attribute node, color into color, and there we go. Sweet. Now if we change it to wet map, it's a little bit better. It's not as pixelated. So let's use that one. Expand dry. Now this is the time it's gonna to take to dry. If we bring it down to two, you can see how it dries a lot quicker. Now, obviously if we want that proximity smaller, we change the proximity. From here, color into alpha, and uh, there you go. Now you can do all the other jazz. Subscribe for more.